Have one of the toasts because they gave me two. I thought it was only going to be one. The what? The what? Not do it. The what? Oh yeah, put it on really nice. Oh yes. Oh yes. Put it on with the gel scraper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Explain, you explain. So we get here and we're like, after all this time, we're like, finally, we relax. And it's like, oh yeah, we've got no reservation. Oh. How? By the end, turns out, after ringing them again, that uh, we it has been reserved, but under James Beaker. Beckett. Be Beckett? Beckett, the explorer. Let's do a tour. Here's the lab. It goes up and on. Here's the floral curtain. Oh my god, guys. Look. I was meant to be here. Yeah. Dinosaurs. <laughs> also, I, I missed on the tour. We have chair with additional stab wounds. Rustic. I wonder what it's like outside now. Oh, he's been there for three hours. Slowly plowing his way. Where's this pile? Where's this pile? <laughs> Mr. Blow, it's my name. Yes. Oh. We're, we're now getting ready to head out. I finally persuaded Whitney. Yeah, they're gonna go. Like I'm. They they've dealt with this snow so well. It's ridiculous. It puts us to shame. Oh yes, go. Oh my god. Go lad, go. That's above and beyond. That is. And then we got the cameras. Camera one. Camera two. So we stick them on top. We're gonna do an interview. Uh, we might need a different type of microphone because those are uh, lavier, which means they clip onto you. And this one's like a shotgun, so it just picks up stuff in front. So, you never know. And then we got the laptop. I should, in theory, have everything prepared for this. So we're gonna stay here for a couple of days and then we're gonna be heading off to California. You ready to go, Whitney? You ready to explore the outside? Those people. They look miserable. I'm not going to be satisfied till I see another 1990s explorer. It's what I do every time I come here. Every time I go to the States, I'm like, I'm looking out for that one explorer. Yeah, oh, oh, Jesus, I did not see all this. I did not see the water. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> he just walks right through it. <laughs> it's windy. It's windy. Aaron really bigged that place up. Fresh, never frozen. So, I want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> no. No, I got the camera. <laughs> You're a big, stupid head. What if I hurt my rib? Then fall slowly. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a giant baby. Hey. And there he goes. I just had a feeling. What if it's like a lake? Come back. Hurry up before I eat another Cheeto. So it is day two of my trip to Utah and already I had a Denny's and had a Wendy's. 
Calm down. And today, we're going to be going to a museum. What are you doing, Whitney? Come off me! Oh! Well, we're going to be talking to um, Jim Kirkland, who is a paleontologist. And I've already uh, put out a post on YouTube asking what, if you guys could talk to a, or ask a paleontologist any question, what would it be? So I've already got some, uh, some of your questions. So that's what we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna be picked up, an hour drive, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, uh, I've got all the cameras, hopefully we'll get a nice setup, and it'll look proper professional league. So we just got back, um, we've been at the Museum of Prehistoric Life. Ancient. ancient Life, that's the one, not even Jim Kirkland knew. He was like the North American Museum of Ancient Life. Jim, it's not North American anymore. <laughs> what? I felt a bit like, oh god, I should have known what it was called. And then he was wrong about it as well, so I was like, yeah. Uh, so we just came back, and it was really nice seeing their passion for their project. And um, you, could just, you could just tell, like, you, I, like, really, it was Jim Kirkland who interviewed himself. <laughs> he just, like, kept on going and going. I feel a bit bad because, like, I should have, like, taken the reins a little bit and, like, steered the questions. But I, I had loads of fun. I was just, like, kind of an awe. So now, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're not doing much, but then we're going to be going. Uh, I don't even know if this is going to be a separate video or whatnot. I'm really not too sure how I'm going to do this. Because uh, I kind of want, like, the Jim Kirkland stuff as, like, a separate video. But anyway, this is going to be, like, a vlog of, like, our whole trip, I think. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what we're... <laughs> We need to die. We'll see you in California. <laughs> Guess where we're not? California. I've been editing the um, interview from yesterday, and it went really well. Um, but when I came to looking at the footage. Guess what happened? I was like, everything went so well. I'm so happy I recorded videos and everything. It went great. His microphone, Jim Kirkland's microphone, wasn't even on. <laughs> not on, not on. In fact, I'm even amazed that we managed to record audio from that camera at all. So what I managed to do is get the audio that was on me, that microphone on me, and compress it to a point where you can hear him and me and I'm not too loud. Because that was the problem. I was like, I was just compressing it and thinking, it's going to be awful. Oh no, I'm going to be like, boom. And he'll be like, just, just lightly here, but it's actually not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. And that is his reaction to the Jurassic World the Utah Raptor. is is great. If you haven't seen that video, it's worth checking. It's good. So that's like a little memento from uh, the Museum of Natural History that we went with John. And also, he gave me this a piece of poop. It is a fossilized tree with God knows what on it. That could actually be tree sap that's on it. Um, and apparently it's okay to dig up this, but if it's an actual, if it has a vertebrae, you cannot keep it. But if it's a tree, then it's completely fine. But if you find a, something with a vertebrae, that's, it's considered like public pro property or even depending on who owns the land, it's their property. Now, probably on to California. <laughs> No, uh, no not yet. Oh, uh, okay. Need to pay, apparently. Oh, I just cover the microphone there. <laughs> and then you've got the, the two uh, giant fans on the top. So it's the top skull turned upside down. And then you've also got another big skull. Uh, if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's this, this big thing. This was a mastodon because you've got the, the molars. That's crazy, this, this is obviously dug up and they finally reached the um, the liquid tar version because li like, it would have been all hardened and then so far down, it's still active as a, as a trap. 
Uh, and of course, all the carnivores would have came in to feast on the mammoth or a mastodon or whatever it was that got stuck. I think it is a mastodon actually. And uh, they too got stuck. And then they sunk down and uh, became fossilized. That's crazy. And it's still, like, it's active. That's the thing I don't understand is people, that this is, this is real. <laughs> These are real bones. Um, that are millions that predate us by, like, well, don't predate us, but we existed with these, our ancestors did, millions of years ago. It's crazy. This thing, relative of a dinosaur. So successful, so many different species. It's so big! Come, Mr. Raven, come to me. I, sh I should have held my hand out like that, and maybe you would have jumped on me. Or he might have just done or exactly the same thing. Stab me eyes! It's something I love, jewelry wise, very masculine, I know. It's amber. And there's something so cool about it. Probably influenced by Jurassic Park, not gonna lie. Oh, I wonder what could be in the cupboard. Oh, my own Whitney. Bye, Win. Are we going? I think we're going. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hilton Hotel, where it is incredibly spacious at Universal Hollywood. Yes, that's right. I'm here for an event that I haven't even talked about in this vlog. At all, I know, I'm awful. I should have made it some days ago and announced it, but I'm an idiot. Anyway, we're here going to, oh god, yeah, there we go, better lighting. We're go, yeah, I'm here to play Jurassic World Evolution with loads of other uh, talent and uh, press as well. I've got my welcome package, as you can see. We have a Barbasol can. Um, a working Barbasol can. So I actually already have the replica one. <laughs> this is this is a nice touch. It's like a little Jurassic World thing. Yeah. They've also scratched off the uh, the price there. Uh, and of course you have this. So I'm going to cover the little barcode. But this can we see? There you go. It's got the um, Isa Nublada, Isa Sauna, Isa Penna, Isa Takano, and I don't know what the other one is. It's the smallest one. So we've got the gaming beaver looking around, make sure no one. And see, this is the reason why I did definitely didn't want to miss this because this is the main reason why I came here, uh, as well as the Utah Raptor project. Of course, that was awesome. Um, but the main reason I'm interviewing Jeff Goldblum. Survive, yeah, let's fast forward to tomorrow. Exciting times. So it's 11:30, half an hour more, and we're ready to go. And look, look at this. Oh, oh, that's right. They're not pajamas. I'm dressed proper. I'm also bringing a bag. It has the Lost World in with a pen, a Hilton pen. So I hope he's not like, you stole this, didn't you? I borrowed it. I'll play the game. Going to uh, interview the developers as well. Nick Rogers. I'm hoping to interview Nick Rogers again. I love that guy. And uh, Jeff Goldblum as well. So this is going to be really exciting. Can't wait. I'm not expecting it to suck. If it does suck, I'll be really surprised. I'm oh, sorry. That's kind of record a vlog. Oh my god, vlogs! <laughs> I think we're allowed. I think we're allowed to record this, but ooh, we're about to go in. It's a nice door. Don't get me wrong. It is a good door. This door's go. This is what it is, though. Oh, this is it. Awesome. I'm excited. Oh man, yeah, it's what I just wanted. <laughs> I want like the Jurassic Park theme to play when the door's over. Oh no! Excitement. Classic one. Oh god. Sick park. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's perfect. That'll do. Oh. Oh my. So now we're going to critique. Oh god. Critique the Jeep. How screen accurate is it? So we have sidebars, that's very good. Did not have the net, but that, that does make a nice fit. We have the 
A uh, light bar, but that's not the Mopar original light bar. <gasps> Disappointing! OEM fog lights on the front. Is that a Ramsey winch? It is a Ramsey winch. Although it could just be a Reese sticker. We don't, it's a bit hard to tell. You've got OEM alloys. That's, that's a good, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, man, man. Whip antenna. That's very good. Side steps. <gasps> it's destroyed. Although you can't see it because it's so dark and I've got to turn up the iOS so high. <laughs> what about the lights? That's interesting because uh, we found out the KC lights aren't the screen accurate ones. I don't know why I'm spending so much time in the Jeep when we have that. Screen accurate. Um, a lot of it is. What's missing though? Uh, what's missing? Well, the rear lights I'm pretty sure aren't screen accurate. Um, the, the, this isn't a Mopar light bar, but they don't make those anymore. This is, I think this is um, made by someone in Jurassic Park Motor Pool who does it. But uh, yeah, apart from that, good. yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> now, do you reckon it drives and can we steal it? Can we? Well, I mean, <laughs> all they have to do is change the battery. So... That's a good one. <laughs> so I'd imagine so. I like this, I like the cargo net. It's just so nobody goes in, I think. Yeah, but it has that kind of... has that look, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of Lost World looky to it. Oh, that's why it's Yeah, like, that's the cargo nets. This might have been the one that was in Jurassic World, actually. 29, if uh, I remember, remember right. 29 definitely means for me. Yeah, place I think, that, so this might be the one from um, Jurassic World. This is the event. You got lots of lots of cool sofas for you to sit down on. Talk Jurassic Park. You got the container container crates. I'm pretty sure that have been around uh, Jurassic World conventions and stuff. <gasps> it's so cool. I kind of I kind of want. Hold on, guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Look, this is it, guys. We're, we're walking around Jurassic World. So this. Oh, I don't know what this is. Is this where everybody plays it individually on a big screen in front of everybody else? <laughs> Although there is a controller there, so well, you never know. Oh, this is cool. Look, oh, you've got the chairs that people sit on with their butts. And a raptor. There you go. In the brush. But is it, what kind of raptor is it though? Big one. Big one, that's what I was thinking actually. See those claws right there? Jim, Jim would be very upset with those claws. <laughs> Because that, that's not right. He would break bones to make that a thing. You cannot make that happen without breaking bones. This is, this is Connor. Uh, what, I was going to say, what, uh, lifting up the dinosaur skirts. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, hors d'oeuvres. Oh, so very good. Very good. Guys, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it was that like a really expensive event. Oh, oh. There it is, our first look at Jurassic World Evolution before anybody, literally, no, nobody's seen this. Look, first ever! <laughs> mission failed. Ensure no mission critical dinosaurs die. <gasps> I love it. We spared no expense. John Hammond would be proud. No, no, it's okay, keep going. <laughs> Doesn't Shoot down! <laughs>So instead of recording in the, um, the hotel, I thought I'd record outside because it's nice. And really, this is what I'm here for. That guy right there. That's the one I'm here for. So that was basically uh, the trip, which is crazy. It was so much fun. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to Frontier for inviting me out here. Like the event was great. Dinosaurs now have stats. So they have like attack, they have defense, resistance to like uh, diseases and all this stuff. And one thing like that was kind of uh, a bit annoyed about the vet vehicle can't, it's like no longer will it be destroyed. So if you go into an enclosure, like I thought it was such a good idea to have an enclosure where, let's say you got Indominus, right? It cost a fortune. You can't get another Indominus relatively easy. So you don't want to lose it. It gets a disease, and now you can't see it because it's got camouflage. Now this is like this is where I'm like this would be so cool. So you can't use a helicopter. You have to go in there by jeep. But it's aggressive, so it will attack you. And if people die, then that's going to have repercussions when it comes to um, like a star rating. You'll lose investors, all this jazz. But when I found out that basically the jeep won't ever be attacked, or it will be bumped. But when I found out I could run straight into it in Dominus Rex and bang it, I was like, ah, that kind of ruins it. Like, then Dominus is gonna look down and go, uh. <laughs> probably think like, not be bothered. I was like, what What happened here? Like, obviously I feel like there's some influence where they want to make it more PG. 
and I think that's probably what's going to influence that a bit more. Also, I want to talk about the thing with Jeff because at the moment, I don't know. I haven't seen the footage. So I had a stain. I don't know if I've said that. I had a stain. It wasn't until after everything. I looked down at my suit and I'm like, what's that? Before everything, before all the recording, I had mac and cheese. This is questionable. This doesn't look like mac and cheese. It looks like something else. But I was like, oh no, please. I'm gonna have to like Photoshop that out and <laughs> all the footage. But we're like, I sat down with Jeff and he's, he's so nice because he takes the time uh, like to remember your name. He's like, oh, and he asked me, oh, so what's your name? I was like, I was like oh, James, James Beavers. He was like, oh, James Beavers. He's like clicking like he's trying, you can tell he's trying to remember it. And I didn't, again, I'm so bad because I sat down and I didn't, like, I didn't tell him what I do. I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Like, you know, and he probably, like, there's loads of us there. So he probably gets that a lot and he doesn't care. <laughs> um, and then, like, somebody from Frontier made sure to come in and, like, on, like, oh, no, have you explained that I do loads of dinosaur stuff and I've got... I hate, I hate it when people do this, but like, he's got 1.6 million subscribers. I feel like when people say you got, oh, you got 1.6 million subscribers, it's like, oh, you're a big guy. He's a big deal, this guy. Um, and it, it also has like different connotations with it now. You're no, you're sort of detached from your fan base. And that's not the way I feel. So it's always weird, but I, you know, I, I kind of, I acknowledge it because it's such, it's an, and the other time it's an achievement. It's like, I'm so proud of it, but I don't like being introduced like that. Like, oh, this guy has 1.6 million. That's what I don't like. But it's like, oh, I do loads of dinosaur content. He was like really into that. Um, but the whole time I'm sat there and Jeff's like right next to me. He's like, right there. <laughs> and he's it's like, it's like conversation. He's like, oh, that's, that's a nice suit. Where, where, where'd you get that suit from? I came here, I bought it like two days ago. <laughs> and I'm like, I know nothing about the suit. And at the same time, he's asking me these questions. I've got the people on the cameras who are like, oh, uh, could you move a little bit to the left? So I'm like this, I'm like, I didn't want to be rude to Jeff. I'm like, I said to him, so, sorry, I don't do this very often. He was like, oh, you don't? Just so sweet, stop it. <laughs> uh, but like, that's what I wish they had done. I don't know if they've done it for the footage, but record before they record. Because that's when you get the real relationship. So that's why I'm telling you this now, because this, I, I don't know whether it's on the end of the actual interview or if it's the end of... The, the vlog, like the main vlog that's gonna be really long. I don't I don't know how I'm doing this. I just wanted to get out my thoughts, whether I, where I put it in, I don't really care. It's completely foreign, the whole scenario, because you're, you're in this big exhibit area where you've seen with the T-Rex and all that just, and then you're like, okay, it's your turn, because I was the first one of our group to interview Jeff. So I was like, okay, this will be interesting. So you go in, you go to the back, it's silent. And you're like, oh. Oh, this is serious because like there's an interview going on and you can see it through the curtain you can see this interview and there's loads of lights beaming down there's cat there's like three big cameras there's about 20 people all around who are just like staff like working on uh, audio working on cameras and it's 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 the quietest thing and you're it it's so foreign you're like oh okay i'm i'm in a serious interview here and then you've got jeff like I remember walking, walking towards him, introducing myself, and he's just so laid back because he's he's obviously so used to it. He's like, oh, this is it. Maybe he likes it how calm it is, but for me, it's so unsettling. <laughs> I, one thing I did, I forgot to take a selfie with him. I know it's very unprofessional, or at least I'm like, that sod it. Am I ever gonna see him again? I wanted to take a selfie, but I, I completely forgot. I was completely flustered. And in fact, for the longest time, I've been trying to get in contact with Universal and any way shape or form and just before i go on somebody comes next to me who's who's from universal and they start talking to me and i have my business cards in my pocket that's a one main reason i brought my business cards was to hand it out to anyone at universal um and i was i was like in a haze so i, I completely forgot to give my business card to this person from universal i was like until afterwards i was like oh, i forgot to get a selfie I forgot the business card. He also said, like at the very end, he's like, "Oh, do, 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 like, cause he was, I think he said something about acting." Uh, he said something like, "Yeah, that's right." He said, "Oh, you're in really good shape." I was like, "Oh no, it's just the suit doing its job." Because I'm not really. <laughs> yeah, I'm a skinny guy. Yeah, at the very end, he was like, "Oh, do you, you should read uh, PG PG Woodhouse and um, like Jeeves. Uh, there's a character in there." And so, like, basically, when I found out he's comparing me to Hugh Laurie, I think it is. <laughs> who um, I'm like, yeah, I could see, with the suit on. Yeah, I, I could see. That. That being a thing. I'm so glad with certain things that I ran with like the mum thing like as soon as I told my mum like I was meeting Jeff Goldman she was like oh, tell him he's fabulous. <laughs> I was like I've got I've got to start that because he's gonna love that. He's, he's very he's very charismatic. He'll be like oh yes. He latched onto it a little bit and did a little personal message so that that was a really nice touch. Um, but yeah like we're now I'm now gonna go to Universal go on the Jurassic Park ride and uh, yeah enjoy it. It's been amazing. Uh, I'm gonna pack up my stuff. Look. That's the hotel room. 
There's me bags. I have a suit in there, actually. I've got to remember just just in there to pick up or else I'll end up completely forgetting it. And that would have been a lot of money wasted. So guys, thank you so much again for all the support. And without you, as cliche as it is, because but I'm 100% appreciative of it. I wouldn't be here uh, to even think that I would be in LA uh, like flying out. That's so weird. Like that's why I don't really think about it too much because I'm like the moment I think about it, it's like oh that's really weird. Don't, like nobody, it doesn't happen to people that I like, that I know. You know, just normal people. We're not like celebrities that get flown out to places. Like just regular guys. And I, like it's thanks to you. Like yeah, I know you go. You say no, but you made the content. But you guys, you guys stuck with me through all all the times. Like through times when I was like just. I don't know. It's, it's been a, it's been a long time, and I have to you know I have to say that like it's it's so cool and it's all thanks to you because don't you deserve it? It's awesome, <laughs> and I'm so appreciative. I'm gonna be Jeff Gold because of you. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I don't know what video it's in, but I'll see you later. Oh bye bye. Also, he did the bye bye thing at the end. That was, that was really cool. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> That's great.